Before you get started, if you have a notebook, make sure that your computer's power cable is plugged in. The first thing you want to know before updating the BIOS is what BIOS version your computer is currently on. If you have the Acer Care Center application installed, you can find your BIOS version from there. When the Acer Care Center opens, click on My System, and to the right, below your serial number and SNID, you'll see your current BIOS version. Open your web browser and go to www.acer.com. Hover over Support, and then click on Drivers and Manuals. You can find your device by entering your serial number or SNID, or you can use the drop-downs to select your model manually. Scroll down and click the plus icon to the left of the BIOS and firmware section. It's here that you'll see any BIOS updates for your device, along with the date each one was released. Above this, you'll see a brief description of what's changed in each BIOS version, which can help you decide whether or not you need to update. In my case, version 1.09 fixes a security vulnerability, so I'm going to update. Click Download. And once it's finished, open the folder where the file downloaded to. Right click on the file and click Extract All. When the window opens, click Extract. Another window will open containing the BIOS update file. Double click it. If you get a Windows Defender Smart Screen warning, click More Info and then click Run Anyway. If Windows asks you if you want to allow the app to make changes, click Yes. After a moment, the BIOS update application will open, and you'll see a warning letting you know to save anything that you might be working on. Also, don't put the system into standby or hibernation, don't open any other applications, and don't press the power button or open or close the lid of your computer. Also, don't dock or undock it, and don't insert or remove any USB devices. When you're ready, click OK. The update process will start, and after a moment, your computer will restart. The update process will take a few minutes. Once it's done, it'll restart and boot back into Windows. If you open the Acer Care Center application again, you can see that your BIOS version has now been updated. If you have any other questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site.